so, so many of you have been requesting that I bring Sika back. However, I do not fall into peer pressure. I do not agree to being demanded anything. Therefore, I have brought the next best thing. Am I a backup plan? You are second best thing. <laughs> that's news to me. That's, that's, that's not what I told him. Welcome. Hi. For those of you who don't know, <laughs> this is my husband, Patrick, who has never crafted before, and today we are going to do a craft challenge. That's not true, I crafted in high school. <laughs> what kind of crafts have you done? It's hard to say, actually. I'm not even sure it would qualify as crafts afterwards with the results. You but can't... I did my best, I did my mm -hmm, best. Mm -hmm. I almost enjoyed it. You've done paper crafts. Yeah, I did. Not origami, but the other ones that you put together and uh, like origami. <laughs> <laughs> and so this craft challenge is basically going to be with my own craft kit. For those of you who don't know, we do have a limited quantity, super not another craft kit, which is packed full of 23 arts and craft supplies. And you can make a figurine from a mold that looks like this handmade by me, in which you can turn it into a plaster figurine looking like this. And you can customize it to anything that you want, including what we're going to be making today. You have a craft kit? <laughs> I am not seen. <laughs> I am not loved. He make him no, cry. No, no, no. Touch my shoulder. And I still cry. <laughs> I'm crying. I, I know you have a craft kit. I know. One, right? <laughs> <laughs> So for those of you who want to get the craft kit, remember that it is in limited quantities and I will leave the link down below. And those of you who are new to this channel, <laughs> that's not what I gave you. I uh, gave you this. <laughs> okay. Don't forget to subscribe and while you're there, make sure you click on all notifications. Because if you don't, what are we going to do? Thank you. No. <laughs> I just thought that I could have a video where I didn't have to dolphin you out. And now I have to dolphin your words. Was that bad what I said? Yes. Wow. Wow. So, what we're gonna do is I'm going to be observing Pat create the grains that got the kit. We'll be getting an instruction guide. This is just me printing it out very poorly. You will get your own instructions mm -hmm. and you will be able to follow them, but I will backseat craft 100% because flashback, but you know that- I'm making it alone. You have to- Let me make my mistake. Okay. <laughs> my project. Okay. Since this kit is made with beginners in mind, there is no other extra beginner than this guy. That's not cool. It's, I'm sorry, I have to say it. I'm not the biggest crafter in the world. No. I leave that part to you. No, but that's the worst thing. I told him to choose a project that's going to be easygoing and cute and something that could work with the shape of the figure. But what did he choose? Litten. He's easygoing and it works with the figure. Yes, the Pokemon Litten. No, no dragon. Here's a dragon. Poof, gone. Unicorn. Mm -mm, no, poof, gone. He did not want anything to do with the actual. I want it to be different. You have already a, a unicorn on your kit and there's a dragon and top. I wanted to do something a bit different. It's gonna be a hard sculpt. Grains, I have warned him. Make sure that you leave your prediction in the comment section below. Is Pat going to succeed at Litten or is should he have listened to me? I might teach you a few things. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, who do you think I am? Someone who can be taught a few things. <laughs> <laughs> Get out! Get out! I do not need to put up with this. <sighs> You serious? <laughs> oh, you're still here. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, first step that you need to do is prepare your figurine. Okay. okay. So I'm going to remove it. It says prepare your workspace. <laughs> Should I get up? The door is right there. So, <laughs> no, don't leave. I'm just joking. <laughs> okay. You want to prep your space? Go ahead and put the super not another crap kit mat right here. Very nice. That's so, it's all together. Oh, hang on. I gave you rubber bands, right? Okay. So yes, let's take out the rubber bands. So. Why does this video feel condescending? <laughs> By the way, this is like how... This is how she talks to me on a big basis, help me, help me! <laughs> okay, so here we have the little lazy Susan. So step one is going to be putting your figure... Okay, doing your workspace, prep your workspace, I get it. You think I don't feel it? I feel I, your energy. I just read your instructions mm -hmm. and you don't even follow the first step. Mm. What does that tell us for the rest of the video? Mm, it's uh, chaos screen. Do, don't, don't listen to me. <laughs> So it might seem a little complicated if you have three pieces to your mold, but it's actually really simple. First, we're going to start with one of the bases, the one that's as flat as possible. So flat one. Yes. So put okay. that one down. It's going to be the one with the head facing the right side. Very nice. Now you're going to put the middle part, the legs. Yes. That's the one. On top. But what you're going to do is you're going to make sure that the teeth 
are into the pockets. Mm. Let me show them. So you'll see over here you have some teeth and here you'll have some pockets. You have to make sure that they are wiggled into their space. So make sure under the belly, under the legs and all of that. And I find it's easier to work with your turntable because now you can actually look at all the bits and pieces in, in much closer. So now I put the last piece Yeah. again with the teeth. Yeah. Ba -da -ba -ba. I think that's good. Now. Yeah. I would take the first rubber band and put it around the head. Around the neck? Yes. Damn. <laughs> We need to secure it. I would double knot. Double knot? Double knot the neck. Okay. okay. Yes. Okay. Very nice. Now we're going to put one around the torso. Torso? So like here? This way. This way? Okay. Yeah. Instructions were not clear. Why do I bring people on my channel who disrespect me? Just once. Just once? Just once. I was going to say it might be the condescending tone you use to them. <laughs> that would be my first guess. No. <laughs> mm -mm. I am very sweet. Please help me. <laughs> All right, and we're going to put the rest of the rubber bands. We're going to put a couple around the legs, a couple around the front of the legs as well, some spanning from up to down and horizontally. And ta-da! What do you think? It was, uh, it was straightforward. Okay, I thought you were actually going to be like, it was so complicated. Uh, <laughs> no, it's uh, straightforward. Okay, wasn't that tough? You got the nails, the teeth? In the pockets? Yeah. You checked as you went? Yes, I did. Now for the fun part. And when I say fun, I say messy. Okay. Let's mix the plastics. Yes. Okay. Okay. So we have our mixing bowl. Let's move this aside. And then we're going to need a spatula. Okay, you're off frame. You can That's get closer. I don't always Which bite. Which one? No, you are off frame. <laughs> ah, okay. okay. <laughs> I don't bite all the time. We want to say something. <laughs> spatula. Spatula. And then we need the plaster. And then all these, by the way, all these materials are included in your kit. And that's all we're using except for one item because he decided to do litten. What's the item? D the aluminum foil, but we don't need it right now. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> and then we have our measuring cup. One measuring cup. Mm -hmm. okay, okay, now I'm going to guide you and I need you to listen carefully. Sounds good. Okay, this is where many grains on the other craft kit had a bit of a problem. So I need to make sure that I am not the problem <laughs> and that it is him. Okay, already blame game. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're going to measure 200... 200. Right there, 200 of the powder, but do not compact it. Okay. Do not compact it. Don't put the powder and then go. No, 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 no fist. Go ahead. So you said 200, right? Yes. Right. You know you have scissors. Oh, I specifically you. gave him scissors. They, they put that little opening. Here. No. <laughs> 200. Technology. Can you see? I think so. I'm gonna compact it, worst case. So it's no, don't. <laughs> yeah. You make me nervous. And okay. then you go and shake it, but it's not there yet. Okay. Shake it lightly. And is it at 200? No. Okay, put a little more. Okay, now you're compacting it. If you shake it too much, it's the same thing as... Is good? Sure. Yeah. Okay. I like how you're not fighting me. I'm trying to be positive. <laughs> you're trying to trust me? <laughs> i trying to trust the process. <laughs> now, one of the biggest errors that he could do right now is pour that into the, bo the, the box, the cup, the silicon. Okay. It's powder. What do you think is going to happen? <laughs> Look at that, there's powder everywhere. Oh, uh -huh. <laughs> it's like flour. No, it is non-toxic, but we don't want that. Can I make a recommendation? I'm listening. I am a backseat crafter, I'm sorry. Okay, well, you know what? Do it your way. Okay, there you go. Very nice. Now, okay, okay, wait, wait, wait. You have to rinse this and get some water. Okay, I'll see you back. Okay. All right, you're back. Let's do it. Okay, this is where I'm gonna get really nervous. Now, when it comes to pouring the water into your plaster, you have barely a few minutes. Okay. Okay. A few minutes <laughs> to pour 300. No, you're gonna pour the entire contents and then you're going to smush and swish. Smush and swish. Smush and swish? Yeah. Okay, you have to get all the little clumpies until we get a heavy cream consistency. Okay. Not a pancake batter. Okay. Okay. Not crunchy. Yes. Okay, so you ready? Yep. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, it's gonna be dramatic. Ooh. It's gonna bubble. It bubbles. Yes. That's so cool. <laughs> it's so cute. That's out of all the things in the kit that I made. The bubbling apparently of the plaster is the coolest. <laughs> you don't find it cool? So it's... smush and squish. Smush and squish. Yes. Smush and squish. Yes. Smooth and... I'm not gonna do it for Smooth you. And squish. Smooth and squish. Smooth and squish. <laughs> what are you even saying anymore? <laughs> Let's see that consistency. Ooh. It's like a... Still very clumpy though. It is. I wouldn't call this a pancake batter yet. No, I said not pancake oh, batter. Oh, not by... Oh, okay. So like a cream consistency kind of thing. Yeah, that's exactly what I said. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. I'm really worried. <laughs> Maybe you should read my instructions. <laughs> okay, it's looking good. Okay. okay, and you also wanted to make an environment. Bring your other silicon. Okay. So you can put it here. So far so Very good. Very nice. Okay, Where now do I start? don't shove this in here. Hold it lightly. Okay. 
and start pouring. Whoa. Don't be too fast. Nice consistency. Pancake batter. You're doing good. Are there any leaks? Stop, stop, stop. I think you're over overfilling. Oh, yeah, I am overfilling. I overfilled it. You overfilled it? Okay, so I'm going to hold from there, right? <laughs> yes. Okay, I closed. Oh, you did? Okay. Yeah. You so pinched I put it. it back. Now, right. you went much more quickly and confidently than I expected. Because technically, you're supposed to shake to make sure that there's no air pockets in the butt or air pockets in the front. Okay, so I shake it. Not very much. So you're just going to lightly, lightly, don't squeeze, lightly grab. Yes. Okay. And just tilt it. No, oh, oh, oh. Yeah, tilt it towards the back and the front. Okay, so it's not shake it, it's tilted. It's tilted with a little wiggle. Little wiggle, wiggle. wiggle, wiggle. Very nice. Did you fill it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And no leaks? No. High five. Good job. I told you I could teach you a few things. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, you still have some of this poured in here, right? Oh, okay, wait. Okay, okay, okay. Pour the entire thing. Entire the thing? Whole thing. The Pour, whole go, thing. Go, 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 go. Whoa. Very nice. Take your spatula and just make sure that it goes around the edges. Okay, so yes. Here. Okay. For someone who hasn't crafted, you are slightly impressing me. Not fully. Not that's fully. Not. Okay, that's good I'll enough. I'll take it. I'll take it. Okay. I like this. You like this? Are you enjoying this for real? I actually am. Yeah. Might be a hidden talent I didn't know about. Or a hidden interest that took me so long to find. All right, so we're going to come back in one hour and unmold this. One hour later. All right, so here's Pat removing all of the uh, rubber bands before I even got here. I'm like, Pat, where are you, Pat? And then I hear, I'm here. And where were you, Pat? In the craft room. What were you doing? Taking care of business. Okay, but <laughs> <laughs> he was too eager to remove the rubber bands that he didn't even wait for me. He was like, okay, it's one hour. I gotta do what I gotta do because he's like, the rubber bands, they're not necessarily fun. So it doesn't matter. And I say everything matters. Thank you. <laughs> so Pat's just removing the rubber bands. You doing good there, buddy? I think so. I think I got this. You're very gentle. I want to break it. Are you going to treat me gently like this? I already treat you gently like this. That's true. You're very nice to me, even though I am salty mm -hmm. and dark in my heart and soul. I'm condescending. No! <laughs> okay, oh, okay, okay, that's a good position. I see you've watched my tutorial videos. I have indeed. You forced me to watch <laughs> I them. did. I was like, you watch them because everyone else who's going to get the kit is going to watch them. So, what did my tutorial say? Put it flat. Yes, and then? Start from the head. Yes! So, one side should come off more easily than the other. And this one is not the side. So, turn it around. Okay, so I flip it. Good. Oh. We feel that the head... Oh, oh very nice. It happens. It happens. <laughs> good. That. Looking good. Okay, now flip it on your other palm. Okay. Also good. From the head. From the head. I do sound condescending. You do. <laughs> you Great. Do. I don't mean it. Yes, from the head. Very nice. Ooh. Okay, perfect. Then... That's good. So now you're going to I... leave it here and we're gonna let it sit for another hour before we unmold it okay sounds good you have your coffee have my coffee you're gonna drink your coffee and i'll be back here in an hour before me right <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so here we are an hour later and the top actually looks pretty good right it had like this weird discoloration it still looks like it has a bit of a hat but all this is gonna be hidden because he wants to do litten anyways i'm gonna have to fix up the face also well the whole head <laughs> Probably. <laughs> yeah, you're just going to cover the head, so I don't think yeah. much sending is going to be needed. So he watched my video. Are you ready for this? Yes. Do you remember what you have to do first? Yeah, have to put it side to side as hard no! as No! <laughs> no! So for those of you who want to say in the comments, But Pat, you did it wrong! Do it! Do it in the comments! So I have to wiggle, right? Mm-hmm, but before that. On, uh, push a bit to pieces, so yeah. it's like on. Don't even it. push, just like lightly loosen the edges. Yeah, so, like this, loosen edges. Yes. So now you wiggle, wiggle. No, but I should do the other side too, no? Yes, I thought you did. You're too eager. I'm too eager, says the person who went to remove the rubber bands before I got there. So now I have to move this way, right? Yes. So you're going to see, you're going to wiggle, wiggle. And don't hold from the arms, hold always from the torso. Because you don't want to put pressure on the sides and pulling down. Yeah, very nice. Pull don't me. pull, just wiggle, wiggle all the way. You got this. Take your time. No, no, very good. Oof. Look at that. I'm keeping this real time, by the way, so you can feel his stress. <laughs> I'm sweating. I'm going to take a break. <laughs> no, don't take a break. I'm stressed now. <laughs> okay. If you let it harden enough, then there should be no problem. None whatsoever. And this one is a little bit more challenging, but just take more of your time. Because you gain the confidence on the first one, biggest issue that you can have right now is too much confidence. <laughs> Yeah, I was gonna say, I didn't really feel like I gained much confidence, no? to be honest. No, because usually when you remove the first one, you're like, okay, easy peasy, I'll, I'll do the second one faster. But no, 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 
Take your time. The first time I ever unmolded this took me about five to six minutes. And then as I gained experience and confidence, it started taking me less and less time. So a maximum time of about two-ish minutes when you gain experience. Don't rush it. Hey, look at you. Don't, don't rush it. Very good. Should I breathe? You can breathe a little bit. Careful the angle. Yes. 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 Good job. Oh my God. No. <laughs> Break. <laughs> It won't stand, you have to sand it a bit first. Okay. You got it through the hardest part, half up. <laughs> you got it! I'm proud of you, how do you feel? I feel like an accomplished crafter. <laughs> accomplished crafter? <laughs> Feels very nice. Right? I'm very happy with Look it. Look at that, your own figurine. I can already visualize yeah. it in here. Not a dragon, not a unicorn, okay. Why would I do that? No, don't look at them! They're not gonna give you any sympathy. <laughs> but you're not gonna give me any no, sympathy I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> So now that we have your figurine, Pat, you have your environment. My environment, my mm -hmm. grass. Your grass. <laughs> you don't have to be any gentler with that one. Just, just, just pull it out. There you go. I love the texture. It's smooth. <laughs> It feels like ceramic. It does. Yeah, it's soft. Because it is a shiny mold, your piece is going to be pretty soft, but you're actually going to use this part for sculpting. Yep. Okay. So your base is going to be soft at the bottom, whatever you choose to put it on. Mm -hmm. But you're sculpting on the rougher side. Okay, so the first Next. thing, what did I give you? Uh, a sander. <laughs> yes. What did I instruct you to do? Sand. <laughs> 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 so right now, he's gonna go ahead and sand all the little bits and pieces that he doesn't want on his litten, which is fairly straightforward. You wanna so, demonstrate? As you told me multiple times, I hold by the middle, yes. not the bottom. Yes. Oh, I like that. You listen to me. <laughs> Sometimes I have to. If I can make a recommendation, or do you want me to just shut up? It depends if it's condescending or not. It's not condescending! <laughs> sure. I would recommend starting with the feet. The feet? Okay. Yeah, just so that it can stand. Was that condescending? It's alright. Okay. Brains, I just realized something. So he poured the plaster, and then there was this weird hat thing going on. But look at the shape right behind Pat show us. It's a heart. Aww. It's a heart! <laughs> Aww! It's a love kitten. You did it on per- oh, I thought it was love for me. Sure. <laughs> Yeah, I did you break him my heart again. I did it absolutely on purpose. You make him a cry again. And he's so busy standing. I can do one thing at a time. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So now what I explained to Pat, how are you going to do your head? Because uh, you have a big head. Me? I mean, Litten. You're, yeah, you do actually. But Litten. Your Litten has a big head. What are we doing? We're doing a round thing with aluminium. Yes. For those of you who are wondering, aluminium is aluminum. Same thing. Different countries say it differently. <laughs> Don't come after us. <laughs> First thing, I think you told me I need to cut off the extra space. Oh yeah! Didn't I give you a sharp pointy thing? Yes, you did. Okay, do you, do you know how to unbox it? Just the the it brains up. are watching you now. It's just perfect. No, 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 no! Bring it up! Let them see it! Okay, hey, no, 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 you're hurting my heart. Okay, let me demonstrate, okay? Let's pretend this is unboxing, okay? Okay. okay. I'll do it again. <laughs> There's routines and traditions we have to upkeep and uphold on this channel. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, just remove this little nub and then we're gonna go ahead. Just be gentle with it. So Don't remove- no, not the whole thing. Just scrape from the top and bring it all the way down. So I just scrape like that? No, like as though you're cutting or peeling an orange. Okay, so I would peel it. Yeah, kind of like that. Don't put pressure on any of the other body parts. All right, so now that the nub is mostly gone, now we have to do the aluminum foil. Aluminum? Aluminum. You're gonna pull a piece off. Okay. You see, I'm not the only one clumsy in this house. <laughs> I'm not the only one who drops things. <laughs> so is it a big piece, I think? Yeah, like this is pretty good. This is pretty good? Yeah. Okay. Next. Squinch it on the head and make a On the head. head? Yeah. Like one shot like this? Yeah. Okay. Why, you want a, you want a smaller piece? It feels huge, no? Or is it me? What's all this air? Look at all that. I'm too gentle with it. You so. are. I'm like so aggressive. <laughs> if you have any excess, use scissors. Grains, I did not tell him to do litten. I told him putting a head, a big head like this is going to be hard because you have to balance it out. What'd he say? I'm doing litten. <laughs> <laughs> are you happy with this shape? It doesn't look like a head, so no. <laughs> so keep working on it until it looks like a head. Why did you make me do this? <laughs> so how would you have done it? I don't know. Not like this. <laughs> did, did you great see that? You added more foil paper. I'm fixing up your mess. Okay, you're happy with this? Am I not supposed to be happy with this? I, I know my voice had an inflection. Again, that condescending. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> so I think this is definitely way better. How do you feel about it? 
think it starts to look more like him. Yeah? You happy with that one? Reasonably. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us what you're doing. So I'm flattening the clay uh, that we did. Mm -hmm. My plan is I'm going to use the oven cure adhesive mm -hmm. over the head mm -hmm. and put that layer over it. Okay. Cover his face. Sounds good. It's good in theory. It's easy. <laughs> okay, since you think this no, is no, easy. No, really no, 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 no. Since you think this is easy, I have decided to shoot you a challenge. Okay. We are making the litten they should have made with wings. Do you ever see a cat with wings? Yes. Oh, yeah? Yes. Do tell. Um, that vampire cat. Do you not remember the vampire cat? No. Where'd you get that from? See? Nyanpire. <laughs> Heard of it. You never did? Your brains can see. This cat has wings and it's absolutely adorable. See, and there's an angel mm -hmm. one. And so, yeah, you're doing wings, my friend. Uh -huh. I already prepped the wings though. So, for those of you who don't know, in the kit you also get wings mold and you can make them out of plaster, you can make them out of clay. It entirely depends on you. I have a full tutorial of how to prep the wings. So, I actually prepped it for him. Okay, so okay, think... that's a lot of flattening, my friend. You know, it's like a pancake. Okay. So, now I take this stuff. Yes. Whoops. Oh. I lost it. It's fine. It's fine. I'm, not I'm not the only clumsy one. It's fine. It's fine. I'm okay. not the only one. Focus here. Who drops things? Focus. I'm focused. So I have to put it a bit of everywhere mm -hmm. on the foil yeah. and also on the neck. Yes. To make sure that it sticks. Yes. Okay. Ooh. Wow. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, you're going all over the face. That good? Is that okay. Good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Smooth it with your fingers. Put a little bit of everywhere. You really leaked everywhere. <laughs> wow. Don't take me out of context. Not entertaining your thoughts. No, you entertain me. <laughs> I would. Yes, listening. Okay, Grins, don't yell at me, okay? Can I say something? Yes, you can. Okay, I saw what you were doing. Yes. You were going from the back to the front. That's not true. What were you doing? From the front to the back. Were you? Yes. Can we rewind that? <laughs> So okay. in the face like that. Yeah. Were you actually going front to back? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like this? Yeah. Okay. And then... Don't bend. Try to keep as flat as possible. So like this? Yeah. Okay. That's pretty good. No, 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 no. Don't do the ears. Just focus. No, 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 no. No. Just focus on one thing at a time. I, I just don't want the new grains who are going to sculpt for the first time to follow wrong instructions. Just focus on one shape at a time. If you're doing a head, do the head. Look at that mess. It's your instructions. <laughs> that's not my instructions. Almost good. <laughs> That's a lot of space needed. Okay, we'll add more clay to that. You know what's funny is when I did this video with my sister, she was baking the pieces and then gluing them on with the clay adhesive. She wasn't doing it on the sculpture itself. So I just have people who think very differently when I do these videos. <laughs> you stress this in my kit. I don't want to use my condescending tone, but there's only one way to say this. You have poor instructions. I know. <laughs> no, I told you so. I told you so. So what's what's happening now? Guide us. Actually. It's because of the nose of the figure. Mm -hmm. So stuff that you didn't explain to me properly. Mm -hmm. So what's it called? In order to make Litten's face flat, I don't have a choice, but I need to trim a bit his nose. Uh huh. Again, something that you have told me before. Okay. But since you didn't, now I have to restart. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so basically, he's going to go ahead and remove what he did and start to reshape with the aluminum foil and then put the clay on top. Do you just want to do it in clay with yeah, no actually, aluminum? Actually, I think it's going to be better. There's only one danger for... You can continue. Okay. But there is only one danger for those of you who want to do fully in clay. Clay doesn't necessarily... It's not meant to be laid on thick. So there can be some kind of cracking here and there. So what I'm thinking is that since Litten's face is uh, it's kind of roundish, but it's also very flat. So that's why so I feel like here with the nose, it makes it that we really have to put or a lot of aluminum foil to make it and become super heavy and it was hard to shape. So I'm thinking that I'm going to actually slice a bit here to remove a part of it. Why are you laughing? I'm only laughing because the plaster. Can you read the name for the for me? Permastone. Uh -huh. Casting palm. Permastone. Okay. So the more you're gonna try and remove thicker pieces, it's not gonna be a fun time. <laughs> but I remove okay. <laughs> so, so see you in an hour. <laughs> see you in an hour. I'm gonna go lay down while you do this. Just don't hurt yourself. I make so... a figure they set. Let people build on the figure they set. I make the figure people take it down they set. Are you done? <laughs> I actually legitimately went to take a, a lay down break and uh, came back to this. How did you get it so straight? Just a sharp pointy thing. Sharp pointy thing did its job. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> I might change if I, if I screw up again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> There's no screwing up, it's just readjusting. Okay. So readjustment. So I don't think you need foil then. Because I still feel like his head is kind of big. You could probably get away with it. Yeah. I feel like if you okay. want to. Yeah, sure. Let's yeah? try. 
So let me get to work. I want to no, I want to see what you're going to do first. I was going to No. Do. Mm. Do. Mm. Do. Mm. Yes, <laughs> there you go. Yeah, if no clay, oops. You have to definitely put your your secret sauce first. Okay. Not entertaining you. Entertain me. <laughs> so we good here. Mm -hmm. So now I would start around the neck. Yeah, okay. Would that make sense to you? No, but I'm not going to say anything because <laughs> then everyone's going to yell at me in the comments to let him do what he wants. But he's never watched a single sculpting video. I just want to be very clear, right? Right. Okay. So he doesn't know that you can make a ball of clay and just shove it on top. He doesn't know that. Doesn't look like a good idea. <laughs> Okay, so you're building it layer by layer. I feel like it gives me more control. Okay. Maybe I'm completely wrong. I feel like it could potentially create air pockets and cracks, but okay. I could be wrong. I could be wrong though. So I feel like it should be... I know, it's killing me. <laughs> Why? It's killing me. Why is it killing me? Because I want to help you. <coughs> yes, please. Nothing, no, nothing. <laughs> I know it's killing you, Nothing. so tell me. <laughs> I'm gonna let him do it, and I'm gonna show you Grain's progress as it's going. And here we have a wild pact, very inspired by his picture, really smoothing and trying to get as close as possible to the plushie. Right here, how you doing, Pat? It looks easier from far to do than it actually. Oh. <laughs> what does that mean? That in my mind it looked very simple to do, and in reality it's very hard. And then when I showed him a picture of another character, he's like, that looks more complicated. I'm like, trust me, this one's easier than doing a litten. But you know what? I don't regret it. Exactly, because once you do your sculpture, the way that you want it, you're gonna be pretty proud of it. You might have to disown him. <laughs> no, don't disown your litten. It's gonna be awesome with the wings too. And I think he's doing some pretty good progress. I mean, it's taken him, what? Too long. <laughs> Not even that long, what, maybe 20 minutes? Yeah, about that. Would That's be. some good progress for 20 minutes. And we have a good shape for the head. And I promise I didn't touch it because he, he doesn't let me touch it. My Look, I'm gonna touch it. Mine. But it's pretty good. The only thing I gave him advice for is because he was squaring off the front too much, so I told him to smooth. But otherwise, he's actually getting the hang of it. I enjoy this. Are you? It's meditative. I know, you've been like deep breathing, despite the fact that I'm here. That's because of you. <laughs> <laughs> So now Pat wants to make the ears. I think it's at a good spot right now. Now we have a tool for one of the cool rainbow oil spill looking kind of tools. You're going to push that trend. Yes. Push the back of that tool into the actual ear. Push it in. Push, 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 push. And remove. There you go. Voila. You have ears. Is that what Lyndon's ears look like though? They kind of look like pony ears. They're a little flatter. You know you have tools for this. My favorite, mm -hmm. if I may say, this one. Mm -hmm. Because it acts like a finger but smaller. Yeah. Push it in. Don't be scared. Don't be scared, you got this. That's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now he's doing the top of the floof. He's doing it on his own. He didn't ask me any questions about how to do anything, so I'm just watching. That's good. <laughs> we like it this way. Oh, wow. Look at that. It looks like a little crown. King Litten. And now you time to smoothen it. Oof. All right, this is looking really, really good, Pat. I am impressed. Thank you. I didn't think you had it in you. Why? <laughs> the next day so we needed to take a little break but i am really impressed pat thank you you know what i was thinking no what were you thinking play along <sighs> sure <laughs> what were you thinking no I, have to <laughs> <laughs> I remember right before everything had shut down we actually took pottery classes yes and you were the teacher's pet yes i was so you do have this artistic side yeah but i mean i always paired up with you so you didn't put the bar very high wow <laughs> i tried my best <laughs> and I it did, was not I, enough wow <laughs> I did the best that I could with what I had. They were special cups. You were just sucking up to teach her. She was offering <laughs> you coffee, always complimenting you, giving you, goo no, the googly eyes. I just did the right assignments. <laughs> I know, I was actually making plates when she said to make cups. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're at a point. By the way, for you grains who didn't notice, we are the next day because it's good to take breaks and sometimes look at your figurine in a different way. And as you can see here, we do have a bit of a rest because Pat's character is front heavy. But what are we doing now, Pat? I have to put wings on my Pokemon. Yes, you have. <laughs> you sound sad. I'm a bit disappointed, we have to say. But I guess you wanted to challenge me a bit. Yeah, I wanted something my way. Yeah. I made him some wings, so he doesn't have to go through the trouble of making them, watching Thank the tutorial. You. Do you want to put your tail first or your wings? Which one would you suggest to start with? You want my opinion. <laughs> yeah, because I usually will do the other way around. <laughs> You see, I didn't follow your advice to continue here and it turned out great. <laughs> yeah, it's true. So what would you suggest? Probably the wings first. Okay, so let's start with the tail. <laughs> you know what? You do you. 
Mm -hmm. If anything, I learned how to deal with stubborn people because I have a sister who's stubborn. You sure it's the sister? Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're one stubborn one too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go for it. So Stand let's down. see how well you do. Okay, so I have these guys in. Mm -hmm. How long is your cat's tail? Do you have your reference pictures? Hmm? I probably do. Mm -hmm. But I'm not going to use it. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> is it because now I've changed the wings? Yes, now since you changed the <laughs> wings, it's completely off my reference picture. So I'm completely destabilized by it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's see. Yay much. So I would say if you want a slim tail, then you can get away with one. Okay. Whereas if you want a thicker tail, then that would be half the amount of clay you would want. So I would bend it over and then twist the wire. Oh yeah, let's, let's do just okay. two. Okay. Tunk. Got you. That's it. Tunk. So I do something yes. like this. And then twist. And twist? Yeah. Uh -huh. Don't hurt yourself though. Okay, you see, now it has more integrity. Like me. <laughs> I was going to say it. I had to beat you to the punchline. <laughs> <laughs> so I can trim the excess here. Good. That's it. Okay, so first thing, I put the metal part right away. No. <laughs> so we need adhesive. Yes. And then a small piece of clay. Yeah, just do it. Stop explaining before the actual doing. Uh, we need you. Did you just leak again? No. Yes, you did. <laughs> Whoops. It still holds. Now I need a piece of clay. Make a little cylinder. Right. I've never seen someone make a cylinder out of clay in their fingers, as opposed to roll it on the table. I guess that's a first. Oh, yeah, very <laughs> special. You're very unique. So now what? I stick cover it uh, whole. Mm -hmm. Now we need uh, to put the tail in. Yeah, careful not to pinch too hard here. I feel that you're stressed. I am very stressed. <laughs> that's good. Let me let me feel. Let me give it a stress test. Oh, very nice. I would put more of the adhesive though. Adhesive? Yes. Okay. So Pat decided that he didn't want to reinforce the wire of the tail. He wanted to reinforce the entire bump. Mm -hmm. You feel confident now you can't. Your litten has a It's a muscular. It's mu okay, muscular is a good word. <laughs> your kitten is packing in the back. Yeah. Next, what are we doing? We're gonna cover the tail to wire. Yeah. <laughs> What's that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would do the wings, but that's entirely okay, okay. up to you. Would... No, no, it's okay. That's, no, that's no, it's fine. Okay, no, 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 it's fine. It's okay. It's fine. No, it's okay. No, no, we're cool. No, we're cool. We're, we're cool. <laughs> Let's do the wings because I'm not gonna hear the end of it. It's your creation. So I put the wings like this. <laughs> Why must you torment me? <laughs> I just want to see how it, how ridiculous it looks. It doesn't look ridiculous. It looks really cool. Admit it. No. <laughs> Admit it. Look at them. No. Be honest. Look at them. No. <laughs> so we have the chunk in the hole. And now that you have a single wire, how are you gonna make a double wire? I'm gonna break it up from here. Okay, but just telling you from my experience, that's gonna go flying. Okay. Okay, so... Yeah. Like this? Yes. <laughs> Still gonna go flying, but at least you'll have control. So now I have to stick this one right here. Mm-hmm. Okay. Good. Now I put this one. Close. I don't know. I have to put clay on yes! this. Yes! Oh my god! I listened to your tutorial. Uh-huh. Well, Always with the adhesive. Now I do this. Yes. All right. So I have the wing ready. Mm-hmm. So now I'm gonna add it up to my litter. Yes, but there's one more thing that you're kind of missing. What do you need if you're gonna put your clay and push it on top of the plaster? Adhesive. Yes! <laughs> you always need your clay adhesive on top. It doesn't have to be too much, okay. just enough. So here I go. Now you're gonna push that wire in there. Don't hold the leg, remember? That's it. Push, push, push. Very good. Now you can use your tool. What do you think? Looks <laughs> good. Okay, now good. you can take your tool and smooth the schnitzel out of it. Okay. Okay. So Pat finally put on both wings. It's so funny because he doesn't breathe <laughs> while he's doing this. I'm and then after he's put the wings on, all I hear is... <sighs> I'm focused. You and need... you put so no, much no. stress on me. Don't I'm touch not... <laughs> the legs. Don't touch this. Don't... I just don't want you to ruin your progress. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's so far so good. It's looking great. We will definitely be smoothing some imperfections over here. What do you mean imperfections? Like the thumbprints. Fingerprints. Fingerprints and scratches. Mm -hmm. Those are imperfections. So we're just going to clean those off with rubbing alcohol and a Q-tip later. But now, tis time for the tail. Okay. You have yet to meet gravity. So you're going to have to build slowly on your way up. I think Litten has like spiky tail, right? At the end. Litten. Oh, it has a bit like his... Like his mustachios. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I can do that. Yeah, you good? I think so. I'm not going to give you any advice to this. I think you could just play around and build it as you want. I will. Uh, is that a threat? No. <laughs> I'm not scared of you. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> <laughs> so Pat and I are sitting here and I'm, I'm telling him the technique I would use because he asked me, what would you do? I'm like, okay, you're obviously not going to take my advice. Yeah. 
and I showed him not to do it this way, which he's currently doing, because I told him, hey, make a sausage, and then put the clay thing on the inside, but he's like, I kind of want to try this technique. I'm like, okay. So I'm, I'm, I am backseat crafting, but at the same time, I'm letting him discover it, okay? Don't yell at me. You're doing it? There's no wrong way. The good thing about clay is that it is very forgiving. So now it's like putting the, the, the star on the Christmas tree. Pat decided to make the top part of the tail separately, although the top part that he made is quite thin comparatively, and he said, I'll deal with it when I get there. How's that going for you? I'm dealing with it <laughs> because I got there. <laughs> You're doing good though. That's okay. I think you can add more to the back. Look at that. Yeah, like the star on top of a Christmas tree. Yeah, now you just need to, you know, do this part. <laughs> Why you make fun of me? I'm not making fun of you. I'm just saying, like, you keep asking me, and I kid you, Green's not. He's like, what do you think I should do here? I show him, and he does the opposite. Just like when he asked me, what do you think I should start with? I said the wings, and then he went for the tail. It's a good idea. <laughs> I can't. Just go ahead and smooth that. Mm-hmm. I'm not worried that you're gonna do it, because you're stubborn like me. So I know you're gonna achieve something good. Uh, nice. I just don't ask me questions. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> So I've showed Pat how to clean up his um, thumbnail, <laughs> thumbprints, fingerprints, and little scratch marks with rubbing alcohol and Q-tip, and he's doing a good job. He's focused. Breathe. Very nice. <laughs> We're going to let him do this, and then we have to pray to the baking gods. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> So Pat now wants to make his environment before we put Litten right on top and he wants to make grass and I'm like, are you sure? I didn't think it was gonna be that long. Yeah, I showed, him, <laughs> I showed him the process to make sculptures. So this is one of my sculptures over here, one of my favorites. And I showed him the process to make grass texture and uh, what's your impression on grass texture? Gonna be a long night. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. For those of you who don't know, this is what the texture process looks like, as you can see here on the screen. It's little swirlies for long periods of time. So we're gonna let him do that. So little circles. Tiny circles, surface circles. And if you see too much clay accumulate on your tool, remove it. Uh huh. Move and I continue my... Yes. Keep going, my friend. It was not a good idea. All of this to deal with, my friend. I'm sure it's gonna look good, though. I hope so. And this is looking really good. How did you feel, Pat? Felt long. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta do a Pokeball now. I don't no think it's choice. needed to see because, I mean, you're basically... It's a round thing. It's a round thing. <laughs> and so here is Pat's piece. Despite the fact that he did everything the exact opposite... You mean the right way? Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> the Patrick way. I think it turned out really well, and I'm really impressed. Thank you. I honestly I'm am. not used to get compliments from you. <laughs> <laughs> That's why so many of you grains who say that you've never done any kind of sculpture, look, the proof is in the cake. Yeah. That's the expression, right? Is it? I Isn't never it? heard it. The proof is in the pudding? Editor, put it on the screen, please. The proof is in the pudding. And I have to say, even the Pokeball, he's like, how do I make the Pokeball? I'm like, well, 3D, I guess. But it seems like he really went indented. Yeah, but that's what I saw more in the pictures. Mm -hmm. It's more indented with the pieces, so I figured I would get it indented, make the shapes, and then paint. I've never done a Pokeball that way. It's just going to be a more of a pain in the butt to paint. That's all. That's a problem for future Patrick. I guess. <laughs> Now, with our litten and wings fully done, there is one thing left to do before we put it to bake, and that is... Prayer. ...to the baking gods. So we put our hands together. Okay, ready? Yes. Don't close your eyes, though. They okay. don't like it when you close your eyes. Okay. Dear baking gods of Evermore, please protect Pat's peace from cracks, burns, and fallen limbs. But also... Stop, stop breaking, breaking this! Stop! Stuff. <laughs> <laughs> you clapped! <laughs> we'll take it. Okay. Off it goes into the oven for the next 30 minutes. Yay. And so the gods of Evermore have actually blessed us, and now Pat is doing his three coats of primer. As you can see, it's nothing really interesting. It's just Pat painting, although he did give me a face, which is quite interesting, but we're keeping that in the footage. <laughs> what were your thoughts? None. None. <laughs> but you do like sculpting now. I do. It's like pottery. Yeah. I enjoyed that too. Yeah, but now you can't suck up to a teacher. We can suck up to you, but you're not good. Uh, you're condescending, so it doesn't work. <laughs> Okay, so now it is the time to actually use the airbrush. Are you ready? I'm excited. Why, why do you keep bringing tea in here? And where's my tea? I asked you for one. You said later. I did. It is currently later. I'll be back. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> so as you guys can see, you do get a fully compact, beginner-friendly airbrush that you'll be able to use with your projects. And Pat is usually pretty intimidated by airbrushes because he's always worried about the mixing and the ratio and the washing and the cleaning. But now... What is this color? Is that what you wanted me to do? The colors that come in the kit don't need any prep whatsoever. Okay, I'm gonna guide you, Pat. 
Okay. Okay? But we've we've been debating for the last 10 minutes. Grains, here's a picture of Litten, straight from the fandom, not the fandom, the Wikipedia of Pokemon. What color is Litten? Is he A, black and red, or B, black and orange? Leave your answers in the comments below because Pat thinks they are orange. And I think the colors are black and red. It's not red. It's red, 100%. So he wanted to actually paint Litten orange and black. It's actually charcoal and orange, but it's okay. We can do black and orange. And orange! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna guide you. Okay. First things first is we're going to prep our surface. So we're going to remove this. There we go. And then we're going to use this background over here as protection for our surface. All right, so first things first. I don't know if I'm too short for this. Is, am I hidden behind the camera? You're fine. Peekaboo. <laughs> <laughs> so first things first is you're going to remove the cap. Mm -hmm. No, it's a twisty for secure, mm. for clumsy people like me. Okay, do you want to start with the grass or do you want to start with the body? What do you recommend? <laughs> You're gonna take the opposite. <laughs> I would start with the grass. Okay, let's start with the body. <laughs> no, but okay, jokes aside, so start with uh, the grass. Does it change anything actually? Or should we go since the body is darker? Yeah, you're definitely gonna get some black residue on the grass. So yeah. do you want to cover up green on the body or do you want to cover up the black on the grass? So I feel like the green on the body is gonna be easier to cover up. I agree. Okay, so let's start with green then so I can do uh, for the most part the grass. No, no that's the opposite. No, to, why? Because if you're doing black first, then green, and then some green gets on the black, it's easier to cover the green on the black. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Yeah. So what are we starting with? The grass. <laughs> okay. <laughs> a little goes a long way. Just put a few drops. I would say start with, since we're doing the body, go ahead and do like 10, 15 drops. Oh, okay. Okay, that's, that's a good start. Now you can go ahead, press the power button. Yay. You happy? Very. Okay, actually turn the power off. You're gonna hold it kind of like a pencil. That's that's a really big pencil. <laughs> yes! And then you're gonna move this. Mm -hmm. This? Yeah. Back and forth, depending on how much pressure you want to put. Now, I don't recommend that you stay on the same spot too long. It's kind of like... Like that. Okay, here's the practice. Like a pencil. Yes! Look at that! Just don't get my finger. Very nice. Okay, you see? You good? Yeah, I think I'm good. You happy? Reasonably. Okay. <laughs> Oh, look at you. Don't do the second coat just yet. Just get a first even coat everywhere, and if you need a second one, we'll go over everything. How do you like this? I love it. Right? Doesn't it make everything so much quicker? Yeah, I used to do some Gundams by hand. Where was this? <laughs> In my craft room, apparently. And so, as you can see, here's Pat doing his own little airbrushing. How did it feel? It felt really good. Honestly, it's... Uh, like I said, I was painting some Gundams, some plastic models before. I would have loved to have something like this. Mm -hmm. It makes it so much easier than just by brush. And it's much more even. Even better than the airbrushing where I borrowed from my brother with the air compressor. I would say so. Yeah, I think so. For beginners, more specifically. Yeah. So I just really want to point that out. But also, now we're going to go with greens. I'm going to teach you how to clean it. Greens, if you're going to have this package, don't worry. We, I have a tutorial of how to clean it but you and I are going to do this off camera. So we talked about what kind of green Pat wanted and I asked him if he wanted to mix his green with a little bit of... Where's the yellow? Right here. There you go. With a little bit of yellow since we do provide a silicone dish to mix your paints in with a little nozzle so you can in here but no he wants a dark green and the other thing that we said is that probably the black on top of the grass is going to give us some Sh variance of shading yeah I, I think it's gonna be actually nicer I'm really curious to see that let's you excited it yeah all right so let's excited. go ahead you could put more now you you know how much it takes Wow <laughs> Wow <laughs> oh my god <laughs> on the Wow okay now that we've washed it and we're going on for our second color do <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. Why did I know you were going to do that? You're exactly like my sister. <laughs> what I would recommend is do a couple of spritz it in the trash. In the trash. In the trash. Do a little spritz just to make sure that it is in fact the right color and no water, nothing like that. Looks green to me. Okay, go for it. Did you want to do another primer or are you happy like this? I'm happy like this. Okay. And so here is your grass. How do you feel about that? Really like it. I like the little drops of blue also. Yeah, I did tell him if he wanted to shade with green, he could put a little bit of blue. But I also asked him if he wanted to do primer where there was black paint and he said no because... Looks epic. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> now for the remainder of this part, the... the, 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 the Take your time. <laughs> <laughs> It's important to note that for these paints to be perfect with the airbrush, they are also a little bit on the transparent, translucent side. So, in order to get them to be opaque, here's the trick. You have to mix a little bit of the primer paint with these ones, and then they become opaque. So, you're telling me to mix some primer? A smidgen of primer. Okay. Because you, you don't want your wet, your... <laughs> I need someone to pet me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
because you don't want your red to be pink. So you don't put too much of anything to dilute the color. And to make it orange, how should I make it? And if you want to make orange, you mix these two colors. Okay. And a little bit of primer so you can make sure it's opaque. That's perfect. Okay. Now it's all detail. It's all Pat. I'm not, I can't guide him. I can't teach him how to copy things. That's all him. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and here we have a wild Pat painting. I think I can feel that Pat enjoyed sculpting more than painting because painting Go away. is detail work. <laughs> no, you're just like me though. <laughs> I really prefer the sculpting part over painting any day. That's why sometimes I use colored clay. That's forgiving. Uh huh. Yeah, painting is definitely not as forgiving as sculpting. And er, me. Good. Here is the final piece. I honestly did not think you would be able to do this. Not because I didn't don't have faith in a beginner. I just thought you would not put as much care into it. I just wanted to prove you wrong. <laughs> <laughs> no, but in all seriousness, I am really proud of you. I, I know you like artsy things. You just don't do them often enough. But when you do, we took our time. We did yeah. what? four different sittings. I would say so. Yeah, four different sittings, a couple of hours here and there. You don't need to finish it in one sit. Now the question is, Pat, <clears throat> Litten mm -hmm. becomes Toracat and then evolves into Incineroar. Mm -hmm. Now if we were to name this variation with the wings, what would you call it? Maybe you could play with words. I mean, the last one is Incineroar. Incinecorn. You what? like corn? Oh, Incinecorn? but there's no horn. Oh, there's wings. That's a Pegasus. And Cynicus? <laughs> I named the pets in the house here. He is not allowed to name anything. <laughs> How and, would you name it? No, no. And so what is it called? Incine... Incinegus. Incinegus. The new evolution of Litten. <laughs> <laughs> and overall, as a noob, how did you feel about this overall put together? I enjoyed it. It was more forgiving than I thought. It mm -hmm. would be so many pieces to put together and it kind of blocks you a bit mentally from it. But following the steps, it wasn't that bad. And since it's forgiving, we had time to screw up a few times and restart. Yeah, it's extremely forgiving as yeah. a craft kit. That's why I made this kit with beginners in mind. Like every <laughs> detail. I was like, how did I do it when I first started? And then I'm so glad because he is an absolute noob and I'm proud of you. And fixing up the mistakes you make on the face, like that whole aluminum thing that just doesn't work. And so if you want to pick up your own <laughs> kit, <laughs> I will leave the link down below. Remember, these are in limited quantities. And if you have any questions, definitely leave them in the comment section below. You do get a Jackie because you have your own exclusive tutorials that do come with the kit. Until then, we will see you grains in the next video.